decision counts in their devotional life. Okay. What is the definition of demoniac? People who not believe in scriptures, who don't follow the regulatory principles, considered demoniac. Okay, that is the correct answer, but that's not the complete answer. Go back, go to previous. Okay, take down. What does Krishna say about demoniac nature? Translation. Yes. Pride. Pride, arrogance, conceit, anger, harshness, and ignorance. Yeah. So, okay. uh, to demonstrate, uh, you know, demoniac. You just don't light one light. That will become like Hello World program. Right? So you have to display all these six characteristics. Right? And put a pillar around it and, uh, you know, give some sound effect. Then people will like your program. If you just one question, one line answer, then nobody will you know, appreciate your program. The same thing. when I say what is demoniac, it was just this 10 minutes like this particular verse saying pride, arrogance, and there is we all know, but we don't know what arrogance is. Like you know when you see it, somebody is like please do unmute if you're not. So you know arrogance when you see it. Very bad language, and use the no bad behavior like that. So that's the whole idea of understanding Bhagavad Gita from Krishna's perspective, right? So pride, we all know that when, when somebody is proud, you 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 know he's like they are strutting, they are walking with some you know importance to them. They may be using some strong words. That is all symbol of pride. Pride. Harshness, again, you'll see it in action. When somebody is harsh, you will actually see that that individual is harsh. Right? So we have to, that's why take uh, step by step, right? Whenever I ask a question, this is very typical, right? People will give me one answer. Okay, but what did Krishna say? Six points. Right? When Krishna says six points, you tell me one point, which means that you will get 20 out of 100. So at least you should say five out of <laughs> six. Then you'll get at least 80, 80 out of 100. Okay, you get a, you know, B plus, something like that. Great, great advice. Yeah, okay. Now let's go back to the next verse. Again, the, the verse that we were discussing. Next button. <clears throat> yeah, now come down. Daivi Sampad. Daivi means divine qualities. So what are the uh, divine qualities? It's not mentioned yet. Krishna didn't mention that. So it is coming down the road. So Lord Krishna is encouraging Arjuna by saying that he's not born with demoniac qualities. Maybe that is not true with us. We are born with demoniac qualities. At least I am. I have pride. I have arrogance. Hmm? So all those qualities have to suffice. Otherwise, what will happen? At the time of death, I'll go become a monkey or a donkey. So you have to get a human life and better still get a devata life. Even better still, I should get liberated, right? Go to Krishna Loka and play with my father Krishna. Okay, any thoughts, questions? The last line is very important. Anyone who performs regulative principles with different orders of life is transcendentally situated. So what it means is, you perform these principles of different orders, Brahmana, Vaishya, Kshatriya, Vaishya, Shudra, and Brahmacharya, Grihastha, Vanaprastha, and Sanyasa, then you are transcendentally situated. So this is qualification of that transcendental. So otherwise, you know, your knowledge is incomplete. I mean, I don't think anybody wants 20 out of 100, right? So we should, we should pick up the points. You should have a pen and paper. Whenever five points are discussed, you should write down five at least try to remember four of them. Okay, let's go to the next one. Shall I do the next one, Prabhuji? Yeah, go ahead. That's your turn now. Okay. Let me share the screen. 
Uh, Oke. Okay. How do I share the screen? Okay, I got it. Website here. Yeah, take your time. Don't be in a hurry. Do it properly. I let it open, but it is not taking that. So I have to open again. 16. Can you see my screen, everyone? Yeah, I can see it, but it is very skinny. Can you see my screen? Uh, Disha Mataji was sharing. It was very broad. Oh, because you're on a mobile phone. Okay, got it. Yeah, let's do it. Yes, Prabhuji. Daivu Bhuta Sargalokasmin. Dvabhuta Sargalokasmin. Daiva Asura. No, yeah, you have to let us repeat, right? Daiva. Yes, Prabhuji. Yeah, please repeat. Vabhuta Swargaloka Smin Daiva Asura Evacha Daiva Asura Evacha Daivo Vistarasha Prakruta Prokrat Prokta Daivo Vistarasha Prokta Aturam Partha Mesrunu Translation by Shila Prabhupada, Shila Prabhupada ki jai. O son of Pritha, in this world there are two kinds of created beings. One is called divine, another one is demonic. I have already explained to you at length the divine qualities. Now hear from me of the demonic purport. Lord Krishna, having assured Arjuna that he was born with divine qualities, is now describing the demonic way. Demonic way. The conditioned living entities are divided into two classes in this world. Those who are born with divine qualities follow regulated life. That is to say, they abide by the injunctions in the scriptures and by the authorities. One should perform duties in the light of authoritative scriptures authoritative to scripture. This mentality is called divine. One who does not follow the regulative principles as they are laid down in the scriptures and who acts according to his whims is called demonic or asuric. There is no other criterion but obedience to the regulative principles of scriptures. It is mentioned in Vedic literature that both demigods and demons are born of the Prajapati. The only difference is that one class obeys the Vedic injunctions, others does not. So here, uh, Krishna is explaining to, Krishna is continuing explaining to Arjuna that there are two kinds of created beings and he already explained what are the divine qualities. Now he is going to continue the, uh, what are the demonic qualities. So in the purport, what Prabhupada explains is, um, so the main difference between divine and demonic people is uh, the the one who follows the Vedic scriptures and follow the regulated life, they are de they are divine. And then one who don't follow the regulated, I mean, don't follow the scriptures and don't follow the regulated life, they are demonic. That is the main criteria. Uh, also, Prabhupada gives example that. Uh, both asuras and demigods both born, born out of prajapatis but one one belongs to asura category because they don't believe in scriptures whereas others uh, who follow the scriptures are called demigods so. The admin yeah. can mute others, Prabhuji. Yeah. Prabhuji, can you mute Prabhuji? Prabhuji, can you mute everyone, Prabhuji? Yeah, I just did that. Okay. So, is everyone understood what I explained? Are there any questions on what is demonic and what is divine people? Yeah. 
and who created the demons and the uh, devatas i mean they are born from prajapatis probably i mean which prajapati they are i don't know the names probably yeah so who is the first prajapati do a little bit of research daksh daksh prajapati yeah daksh yeah yeah daksh prajapati is father of uh, who sati yes sati devi right and then she commits suicide not commits suicide she just offers herself in sacrifice and uh, what happens she is born again as parvati parvati yeah that's very important. parvati mata parvati mata ki jai so if you see here there is apparently a temple let me share my screen and i'll show you there is apparently a temple called prajapati temple daksha prajapati temple in orissa so recently some people stole some deities from that from that so there are crazy people who will steal deities also i don't know what they will do with them because they are like accumulating a lot of bad karma by doing so so this is the daksha prajapati temple in where is it in orissa in orissa okay and now which verse we were in? we were in he completed 166 probably 166 okay so that is enough for today so we had two speakers three actually sheshadev jaypal and disha talk next week we will have three more speakers that doesn't mean that now you will not stop coming next week to class right oh my god i have to talk and therefore i won't come no that should not be the way it is so in the 16th chapter it's very interesting because divine and demoniac natures are being discussed right pravrtim cha nivrtim cha nirvatam cha janana vidurasura जनाना right so you will see them they are not very clean like in america people go pass stool in the office bathroom they'll come and with the same hand they'll shake your hand so now you are also impurified that's why i stopped shaking people's hands very dirty because most people they just go to toilet clean with a paper and then just come and start come to the kitchen Uh, get some coffee contaminate the entire kitchen then come to the conference room and contaminate the entire conference room it is said that after you pass stool you should take bath otherwise you are contaminating everybody that you touch and then they'll say oh suresh how are you hey jaypal how are you and then they put their hand on your shoulder your entire clothing is now contaminated so we are living in a state of contamination right now So what are you going to do, right? If you pass urine, it's okay. But if you pass stool, you have to take bath according to scriptures. It doesn't have to be a twenty-minute bath. At least a one-minute or two-minute bath quickly to purify the body, and then wear a fresh, fresh, uh, fresh pair of clothes, and then you are purified like that. So, what is the definition of civilized? What is civilized means, according to modern scientists? civilized means bring people or place to a stage of social cultural moral development right so basically there is no moral development in the modern world there is hardly any culture there is no social interaction other than cheating each other 
just read the newspaper and then you will come to know how civilized we are then you will realize that we are not civilized at all so pace of job gains is slow right pacing life after game stop there is a lot of cheating going on in game stop stock in robin hood which is an online trading platform when most debt collection practice probed by the consumer finance protection board so when more is like this you know paypal type of financial instrument they cheated a lot so now they are in trouble with the government game stop trader may face regulatory scrutiny because he manipulated the market so much lot of people lost money in stocks right everything is nonsense if you read the newspaper there is no civilization right now everybody is cheating everybody else and that is called civilization in the modern world and if you go to new york times what do you see so modern intelligence hampered response to capital riot so there was a riot no intelligence nothing is in control then people are playing with corona balls in tel aviv now do you call that culture dead bodies everywhere they saw showed just now that little thing right and this fellow is not even wearing a mask he's wearing a kerchief so if he's infected he'll infect even the nurse around him so there is no real oh 5116 people died excellent so there is no culture whatsoever in the modern world <laughs> so abol is the racist sexist sub minimum wage many people don't even get paid the minimum wage in america so what are they expected to do they go and steal something here and there right so this is our great civilization what can we do so we were we are we are not civilized actually proper says in the civilized human society there is some sort of scriptural rules and regulations there are rules and if there are no rules then we are not civilized <clears throat> especially among the aryans we are all aryans who adopt vedic civilization and who are known as advanced civilized peoples those who do not follow scriptural injunctions are supposed to be demons which means 99.9% of the population on this planet are demons previously there were some devatas and some demons so when devatas were attacked by demons the devatas used to go to vishnu and say oh dear vishnu we are being attacked but now everybody is a demon so what are you going to do right i mean still there is 0.01% who are following uh, scriptures so they are devatas devatas means people who follow scriptures and demons means people who don't follow scriptures so for example it's called seattle we have 100 initiated devotees maybe 60 of them follow scriptures seriously so those 60 are devatas everybody else in seattle is a demon <laughs> according to this description huh? i am not saying this lord krishna is saying this So if you don't like it, I cannot help it. So we have to become devatas. We doesn't matter whether we have demoniac thoughts right now, but we have to become devatas. And what do demons have? Like you know, let's make a running list. Demons do not follow scriptural rules. Right. By the way, I got my corona injection today. that was the slide where you know they send once you register thank you ramesh arun sethi thank you padmavati arun sethi so demons do not know scriptural rules i got it because i am 50 plus you will not get it nor do they have any inclination to follow them
they have no faith not they are willing to act in terms of vedic injunctions like jaypal said they have no interest in vedic injunctions so if they say hey vedas you are supposed to take bath twice they say no i'll take bath two times a week not two times a day the demons are not clean externally or internally we'll see that in the office four people will be talking one person leaves the discussion to go for lunch the remaining three people will talk about that person internal cleanliness means remembering holy names of god and chant hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare hare so most people are not chanting which means they are not devatas they are more likely demons manu samhita is the law of human race manu samhita gives you the rules of devatas and rules of demons and rules of human beings ityadi so laws of inheritance and legalities are derived from this book for example uh why does a son inherit father's property and not a daughter it is given in manu samhita so we better follow it that does not mean that women are to be kept as slaves but they are like children women usually think very lightweight right even in office we see like a bunch of people from costco were telling hey in our board we recently added a lady because you know we have to follow these you know equitable rules and all of that and then she came to the meeting she was talking something very different than what the other four men the executives from costco were talking they promoted her because they had to give equity but she supposedly didn't know what was going on right they are not to be kept as slaves but they are no, children are not to be given freedom why if you give children freedom they will make mistakes you are seeing that in america a lot like some girl ran away from home then she was captured by one black guy in uh, downtown seattle and then he made her have sex with 60 men for money so she ran away from home thinking that she is free and then this guy captures and then he made her have sex with 60 people now what is her life going to be going forward think about it just think about it she will never ha- have any married life practically speaking being so much abused prabhu mm. in that case i understand the girl running away from her family is bad mm. but the the man capturing her is also bad right how can a victim be uh, uh, you know penalized and not the perpetrator Yeah, the, yeah. The victim was caught and put in Seattle jail, but it still remains that the woman is now abused sixty times. So what are you going to do? Okay, you penalize the victim. Uh, sorry, penalize the perpetrator. So the women should be careful, <laughs> because there is a saying in Telugu: if a thorn comes and hits the ba- uh, banana leaf, or a banana leaf hits the thorn, ultimately the banana leaf is going to be shredded. Right? Agree. Yeah. So, who should be careful? The women should be careful. <laughs> women should be careful. A lot of. Uh, 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 excuse me. Can I say something? Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Please. Can I say something? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Yes. So, so I, I, you know, I, I feel all, all, all along, it is always girls have to follow these rules, that rules. don't go out late wear proper clothes have proper manners don't you think that it's about time we start teaching our sons how to respect the women better oh, way of dealing with teach your sons you should always teach your sons to respect women just like my mother taught right. to respect a woman that's why i never abused any girls you see the point right yeah, yeah. so you know this this is what is needed to be done but like you said laws of inheritance so obviously all this is giving power to the uh, or you can say uh, it's not a equal treatment 
uh, to be given to the woman by our scriptures also. So yeah. us, that's why probably the, uh, you know, that's one of the thing is wrong in the scriptures then. Uh, no, no. Women should be given protection by father in her younger days, by husband in her youth, and by son in the uh, old age, and by the sons in the old age. That is how it's going to be. Now, a lot of women's liberation happened, and divorce rate has gone up, and uh, abortion rate is going up. I don't think the society has benefited. Society has not benefited. Uh, I have, a, I have uh, an objection over here. I'm just to say that women's liberation has got nothing to do with divorce rate and it's got nothing to do with uh, uh, whatever is happening today. It is an equal thing. If, if a marriage gets divorced, it's woman and man is equally in a marriage. It's not only a woman to say that, you know, just because women are liberation or she has got right. I, I have to don't, have I'm not a woman, so I don't know how women feel. I'm only repeating what scriptures are saying. You can read this book called Women, Masters or Mothers by Bhaktivika Swami. So women are sometimes masters like this. They uh, participate in the military and sometimes they are mothers. So I, I, again, I said, I'm not a woman, so I don't know. No. Yeah. I'm only there repeating what scripture, scripture. And today's women have thrown. Our scriptures created the discrimination what, between what about the man and the woman. But what about Western scriptures? Uh, no. So right now we are in Bhagavad Gita. We we try to live by those, right? They are they we look up to that book. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. So we are only talking. Uh, I will know more about my religion than uh, any other religion, what they say. Actually, I don't know the other religions at all. Other religions also so say, I I Christianity also says the same thing if you look at the Bible. Islam also says the same thing. Why? I okay. don't know. But that's how it is. And if women's liberation yeah. has not solved the problems either. Right now, what's happening? Women said men are bad. And now women uh, tend to marry women in, in America, especially the whole LBGT group and all that. Yeah. So I don't know. <laughs> yeah. So is that a solution? I don't know. It's just. No, uh, no, we are, I'm not saying that uh, the protection is also OK. But you know, how much can you protect? Look at that. A woman is studying now, going to living in the hostel, working alone somewhere away in the foreign country or in India also. They are living in the other states. So how the father or the husband or the brother can provide protection? They have to live their life. So my only point was that the, uh, okay, in the olden time, it was possible. But with the changing times, it is not possible. So we need to change our mindset and we need to remove the disparities or the discrimination so that the, the son in the family who feels very superior, who is made to feel superior right from the beginning should stop there. Yeah. That's the I mean, beginning that's of the problem, I would say. Yeah, that's how you should raise your son. But I'm saying what the yeah. son is saying. Modern education has artificially devised a puffed up concept of women life. So that is where the problem seems to be according to Swami Prabhupada, right? Modern uh -huh. education may not be the right way. That's why we are moving back to the farms right now. So I bought a farm. You're going to have Varnashrama there. In, if you go to the farms, uh, ISKCON farms in India, you'll see that people have moved away from moder modernity. So they, uh, if mm -hmm. you have a cell phone, you are considered to be Anti-social, so people are not allowed to have cell phones. People are only growing crops on the ground and living naturally. And when I went there, I saw everybody was so happy. And here, when I come to Seattle, I don't see any women happy actually, because they have to now uh, devise their own uh, means of existence and subsistence. So the problem is with men also. But I'm saying modern education has created this problem. So back to mm -hmm. back to traditionality is a path to back to Godhead. Because modernity, we have seen. Black Lives Matter, has it solved anything? Antifa, has it solved anything? QAnon, has it solved anything in America? If you're keeping up with the press, QAnon was uh, implicated in attacking the Capitol Hill in um, Washington, DC, right? And then Swami Prabhupada continues. Yeah. 
therefore marriage is practically now an imagination in the society i was uh, talking to my friend's colleague and he said practically marriage is a dead institution in france you just have sex like uh, dogs and cats where do the dogs and cats have sex on the road same thing if you go to the loo in paris and if you walk by the seine river there uh, on both side of the banks people are having sex in the open actually in in paris and people say oh i want to go to paris but you go there you'll start vomiting how bad the culture has turned right i mean at least for people who have culture they will throw vomiting but people who don't have culture they may take pictures and then publish it somewhere else so that's how it is what can i do what can i say the social condition according to prabhupad is that of women is not very good now although those who are married are in better condition than those who are proclaiming their so called freedom this is very important like you will see some people you know in american society also like the traditional christians they have great emphasis on marriage my daughter's a classmate at university of washington she got married even before she finished her bachelor's degree because she is a traditional christian and she came to our house and she was so happy uh, very traditional like that but then there are on the other end of the spectrum you know people are just uh, you know going here and there doing whatever boys and girls and they don't get so much respect right the the respect comes to the people who are following tradition the other people are like oh, whatever you know you just um, look at them but don't respect them that much that's how it is and the demons therefore do not accept any instruction which is good for society because they do not follow the experience of great sages and the rules and regulation laid down by the great sages so the social condition of demoniac people is very miserable that's what you are seeing right now right uh, and in average i send this in the purushottam chat in the whatsapp chat there is only 400 dollar savings for most people in america right now so if one dangerous thing comes in their family they are finished right they are finished one little emergency comes so they don't know how to save they don't know how to earn how to spend how to interact mostly people are like you know um, playing video games or something like that and they don't know how to interact with their spouse so that is why culture has to be reinstated so bhagavad gita is not about spirituality alone it is 50% spirituality 50% cultural so shri prabhupada if you see he doesn't always talk about uh, krishna see in this chapter if you see you are only talking about demons there is no krishna in this line in the entire purport other than this mantra right and um, there are some traditional jews j e w s from the middle east they are even more strict than the hari krishnas if you see them like your mind will go bonkers on how strict they are with require uh, respect to their scriptures amazingly um, uh, you know strict they said this is what is said in the torah is what i i have had some Jewish colleagues in the office super strict and then if you see these guys um in christians uh they are called mormons so i have had mormon colleagues they would never touch coffee or tea which is what swami prabhupada also says because they are intoxicants they never touch never never touch coffee or tea and they get married at a very young age 20 years they are already married career comes later first family right and if you go to switzerland there is saying family faith farming everything else comes later that's why switzerland is such a great farming country family when I mean, you know the unit of wife husband kids faith christianity according to them and farming so the world's best chocolate milk cheese comes from where Switzerland, <laughs> because yeah. that, that mindset, right? So it's not like everybody wants to be modern. There are a lot of people who don't want to be modern. Um, the Karulas Maharaj was covering these people. What are they called, Sheshdev in Pennsylvania? Those people um, who don't want modern amenities. I'm a speaker. I'm a speaker. I'm a speaker. Yeah, yeah. Right. So if you look like Amish, 
you see this is how they live even today they came from germany in 1700s what do they do they do some farming put a boat like that they sell some uh, strawberries blueberries things like that and um, see very traditional you see the women uh, since 1700s they always cover their hair like that it's not a burqa like muslims but they still cover their hair men they always wear a hat because hair is considered a bad part so while cooking you don't want the hair to fall in food you don't traditionally expose your hair hair is not considered so good right so you see all of them wearing a hat wearing a traditional clothing look at all this women traditional clothing from head to toe their body is covered there are no mini skirts here in amish community right how traditional how beautiful they look right they are harvesting they carry their own guns to protect themselves they don't believe in the protection of the police and most cases police are not protecting anyways like in the hindi movie right after everything is over in the end the police comes hero would have finished all the gundas so that's that's <laughs> that's a reality everywhere in the world so they believe in their own protection and i met some of the amish people they don't even go to school they have do home schooling they study on their own whatever is needed still in their wheel bagans so there are communities like that many many and then if you look at the uh, geeta nagari hari krishna community so there are people who don't like modernity because modernity is actually in some ways what is that geeta nagari my spelling <clears throat> so this uh, sanyasi i met him he came to seattle temple many times um so he is you know leading a kirtan with all of the uh, predominantly african american community in gitanagari right there are the dts radha krishna dts and this gentleman here he lost one of his leg he in in, in mayapur where um, you know some decoys attacked the temple so he defended and they threw a grenade and one of his legs got blew, blew away this is geeta nagari again jagannath baldev subhadra rath yatra in geeta nagari so there are people who don't like modernity actually they they would rather live in that traditional simplicity life even westerners i mean african americans who would have thought right so this is in uh, pennsylvania northern part of pennsylvania from philadelphia you drive 4 hours and see this african american woman is wearing a sari with a blouse and she's traditional more traditional than many indians that i've seen <laughs> um so yeah i mean not all in any community not everybody is good not everybody is bad right so we need to kind of understand that from a so they are using these modern implements like guitar but they are singing hari krishna kirtans so that's kirtanagri so that is there and one other thing there were some mormons mormon community mormon community let's say agricultural because they are into lot of this agriculture if you go to spanish fork utah um the, the whole place is um, you know established by the mormons so they they like to live in their own little they are not that much as um, these other amish but they still have very strong traditional beliefs right they, they when when the daughter comes of age they start looking in the church is there a suitable boy to marry my daughter off so there is no concept of love marriage or anything like that it is arranged marriage so love plus arranged the arranged marriage so this is in utah if you go to denver colorado you can drive there no sorry not colorado um what is the utah in utah, utah. what is the famous airport salt lake city uh, yeah salt lake salt lake city, yeah, salt lake city. so right. you, salt lake city yeah. you go drive to this uh, mormon places very extremely well organized 
text mm. with. Right. So there are traditionalists. Yeah, Salt Lake City. This is where how it looks like Salt Lake City. There are traditionalists who, and then they wear a badge like this, and they'll knock your door and they'll teach you about Jesus. So between high school and college, mandatory one year off to talk about God. Very, very good people. Very impressive. I'm, I'm pretty impressed with their, you know, ability to talk about God. They're trained that way. Right. So not everybody is modern. In all these societies. As Propa said, right, women are not to be treated like slaves, but at the same time, they should not be given freedom because the man should take the responsibility of dealing with uh, the tough aspects of life, and women should take the responsibility of dealing with the tough aspects of raising a family. Women's job is tougher than man's, believe it or not. They have to take care of parents, they have to take care of the spouse, they have to take care of the kids. So it's a three dimensional model, right? It's not easy. I, I, I cannot even imagine being a woman. <laughs> so tough. Awesome. Uh, Prabhu, I have a question. Yes. Prabhu, so do scriptures uh, have a set uh, definition for a role of a man and a role of a woman? Oh, yeah. The Manu Samhita has a complete definition. The Bible has a very detailed description. The Quran has a very detailed description of what a man's role is and what a woman's role is. And of course, you know, if you go to the internet, a lot of people have analyzed all these roles uh, of man, woman, according to Bible, for example, right? Do not permit a woman to teach or to assume authority over man. She must be quiet. And if you tell this to a modern, uh, you know, society, they will immediately say, burn the Bible. But that's not correct. This is coming from scripture, right? It's coming from scripture. God created man and woman in his own image. The divine image gave women, man and woman spiritual equality. So there is equality of spirit. So why we fight? Because we fight on the bodily platform. And body is required for survival. But as a spirit, like somebody went to Prabhupada, one lady, and said, Prabhupada, how can you say this? That women are inferior to men. Prabhupada said, why do you think you are a woman? Think that you are a spirit soul. <laughs> then you are neither a woman nor a man. Come to the platform of higher standards, right? Come to the platform of higher standards, right? In Genesis 9, 6, we read that man as in mankind, men and women are made in the image of God. For man to fully exercise the image of God in him as a husband and a father, he needs to do blah, 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 right? God created women and by extension marriage to model the relationship between himself and Ityadi, like that. So, I mean, scriptures are not all that different. Uh, the Vedic scriptures just go give more detail. Like Bible is just one book, right? Whereas if you look at Srimad Bhagavatam, you know, 18 books, Chaitanya Charitamrita, 12 books, uh, the Purana, so 108 books, uh, 18 books, Upanishads, 108 books. So there's so much more actually. So then we can go and look at roles of man and women according to Quran. Although there is no clearly defined roles for men and women, strongly implied that each gender provides equally significant, equally significant contributions to the family realm, but in different spheres of activity, right? So women uh, should not stay at midnight and hope that uh, nobody will do anything to them. People will do, they're always bad people floating around. Men are protectors and maintainers of women clearly placing men in leadership role within the household. Now you can argue, but can you argue with a billion Muslims? They'll probably throw AK-47 and grenade on you if you try to do that, right? According to Manu Samhita, again, I'm not making any of this stuff up, right? This is all there in public domain. Those who desire prosperity should ensure that women in their family are always happy and do not face miseries. So if somebody, man has to be rich, they have to do this. Otherwise they will lose their riches. That's what happened to Mr. Duryodhan. What did Duryodhan do? He mistreated women. What did Krishna say? Cut out their heads. End of story, right? Krishna is not very soft, huh? 
don't think krishna is like very a small boy eating butter if you make him mad he'll say cut their heads off end of story <clears throat> that's what why, why did mahabharat happen because krishna wanted the demons to be killed end of story so yeah so uh, prabhu it definitely then seems to be that um, you know scriptures uh, if left to interpretation can be no scriptures to, are not you know, left to it... no no scriptures are never left to interpretation scriptures are left to give some leeway scriptures are very strong when krishna says sarva dharman paritejya means he give up everything all types of dharma women dharma men dharma children dharma and surrender to me ha huh? aham tam sarva papebhyo mokshishyami ma suchah i will give you liberation scriptures are very strong believe it or not but they give you freedom see uh, people like me are not ready to fully surrender to god so there is a little bit of freedom okay you can you know go work out in the office for a little while you can take care of your family for a little while but maybe once you are like 50 55 you give up everything and slowly turn more and more attention to me that is called varnashrama right from 25 to 50 is called grihastha means where you take care of your family but if somebody is interested at the age of 24 how old are you by the way the questioner 43 43 so you have another 7 to 10 years to enjoy to the fullest extent of your life but after that you should turn your attention to krishna full time right so scriptures are very strong by the way but if you if you are like at the elevated stage of a monk then you say why not i should i get married and waste my 25 of my time you may come to that conclusion i mean i didn't come because i am not that elevated i am not that serious but you know one of my classmate came to that uh, he and i were working in tata engineering uh, i was uh, how, how old were i i was 25 he was 23 Uh, i came to america he went to an ashram in calcutta he never married and ever since he is in that ashram following the bhagavad dharma my my own classmate he and i used to have rooms right next to each other right so it i, right? I mean there is no one paint brush that you can paint 8 billion people with so different people uh, have different trajectories so some people may pick it up fast and some people may not pick it up fast sorry i did i answer your question or i think that's okay uh, i think the question of jana so i agree with you prabhu that scriptures are you know strong and have have uh, strength behind them but if you don't have a teacher to explain the meaning behind these words it it can be used uh, to cause disparity you know in society like the like the you know the the sentence we saw women should be quiet so if if you have gibonic forces and influences around yeah, the world that's why swami prabhupad came right that's why swami prabhupad yeah. came to give an explanation to not only bhagavad gita but to quran and to yeah. bible prabhupad talked about bible about quran about so many scriptures he talked about yeah and then i am in prabhupada's parampara my guru is in par- that parampara so prabhupada taught my guru my guru taught me and i am trying to teach to you so when i say these statements did i put any or not my own sentences no i just copy pasted things from the scripture right so yeah we can you to do we may have our own individual um, opinions but it's not about our opinions it's about what the truth is you you and i maybe will only be able to follow 40% but that's still better than following yep. 100%. right don't think that i am following it 100% either no <laughs> but i'm yep. trying to you know i'm struggling i'm struggling so this is from a czechos czechoslovakia czech republic right so man samhita overview so they did some analysis right and just like notes before going to an exam so they are saying in which chapter which verse talks about what right so if you go to chapter 9 of manu samhita and go to verse 336 it talks about the relationship between husband and wife 
inheritance and punishment. So we should read these scriptures. <laughs> we we don't know, and therefore, yeah. we, you know, listen to uh, you know Larry King who recently died, or some dude on Saturday Night Live, and think that is life. No, that's not life. Life is there by the rishis. Yeah, they've mm -hmm. documented. They are very serious uh, practitioners, even in Christianity and Islam, but they don't really come out into the public and get into debates or anything like that. Right? They just do their thing. Like I know in my community, four homes from my home, there was a pious Christian family. All four kids were homeschooled, and their parents think that if they send their kids to public school, they'll become demons. So they raised them at home. At home, so they they studied everything at home. Think about, I mean, hats off to that mother who trained four kids at home. How many hours a day? Probably she spent sixteen hours a day training four kids, right? Think about each kid. At least you have to devote four hours. Four kids, four times four, sixteen. Right? So yeah, there are some very very gems in the society amongst us, but there are some rascals. Yeah. <laughs> so you cannot say everybody is good everybody is bad right there are some things like choosing a family wife qualities health varna how to conceive children even conceiving children is an art in vedic society and see this women's property untouchable the husband cannot steal wife's property but how many people are doing that now in the modern day uh, men usually take their wife property and gamble and lose i have seen at least Ten different stories in my own extended family, where men gambled and lost all the property, the wife's property also. But Manu Samita says, "What? You dare not touch your woman's property." Actually, somewhere it said that if you touch your wife's property, your hand should be cut off or something like that. <laughs> so it's pretty serious, huh? Manu Samita is pretty serious, or you'll go to hell or something like that. So, so Prabhu, I guess in in conclusion, it it seems like you know to solve for modern you know unhappiness and even inequality, because back in back in the day in tradition, men and women were treated equally spiritually. Yes. The point is go back to tradition. That's what's really yeah, go back to tradition. Like Queen Kunti was treated equally, but when Duryodhan and team tried to steal her son's property, she was not happy, right? And when mother is not happy, sons are not happy. So they ripped apart Duryodhan and Dushyanta's body in the battlefield. Right. So we have to go back to tradition. Be uh, equal opportunity doesn't mean only based on race and sexual orientation. No, equal opportunity means on the sole platform. That's how it is. So there is so much. I mean. my mind spins when i look at all these when will i learn all these things look at this politics and strategy great to build a country town fortress right customary laws set by the practices of the twice born which are brahmanas interest rates how much interest should you charge how debt is to be dealt is all there in man samhita Right, like a one Christian was telling me, I was in a contract, uh, not contract, but I was in a project implementation in Montreal, Canada. So I met a Muslim guy there. He was telling me that it is sinful to charge interest rate according to Quran. So if you give hundred dollars to somebody to start a factory or something, you should only take hundred dollars back. It is sinful to take interest on that. You know who is following that? So many things. So many things. So we cannot do all this, right? Because it is Kali Yuga. So what do we do instead? Chant Hare Krishna. Chant Hare Krishna. <laughs> And give up sense gratification. Sense gratification means watching movies. because you know half of the rapes in india are caused because of movies right that um, one boy and girl were going in that bus and then the bus driver and the cleaner did something to the girl 
the girl was uh, airlifted to Singapore, but she did not survive. Later on, they asked the boy, you know, he said, like, you know, what, what do you expect us to do? We watch these movies where there's so much sexual things uh, and we don't know who to experiment with. So we experiment on our customers only, whoever comes on our bus. Right, so chant Hare Krishna and get rid of this desire for sense enjoyment. And primary of them is this whole sexual enjoyment, right? That if you do that, 50% of the job is done. Remaining 50%, we can do all these other things. Sense control. Like if you go to these websites, right? Fantastic websites, brahmacharya.info. I read all these things, thanks to Srila Prabhupada. Without him, we will be lost. Here is Brahmacharya.info. The sites also keep changing their ranking. This picture is from that book. So, Brahmacharya, Grihastha, Vanaprastha, Sanyasa. Four stages. Right? What to do in Brahmacharya? What does Rigveda say? He, Brihaspati, leads to the life of Brahmacharya, adoring all gods. Only those who pursue knowing of the Brahman through the practice of Brahmacharya attains the Brahma Loka. Yajnavalka says this, Brahmacharya says this, so much information. Right? So we have the seven dhatus, plasma, blood, muscle, fat, bone, marrow, and reproductive fluid. So, a lot of plasma causes some blood. A lot of blood causes some muscle. A lot of muscle causes some fat. A lot of fat causes some bone. In this way, reproductive fluid is very rare. So it takes liters of blood to produce one drop of sperm. So we should consume it. Uh, sorry, conserve it. Blood is formed from plasma. Muscles are formed from blood. Fat from muscles. Bone from fat. Marrow from bones. From the semen fluid, embryo gets formed. So think how valuable it is. So having less sex is actually a good thing because your energy is conserved like that. Essence of food is rasa. Essence of rasa is rakta, blood. Essence of rakta is mamsa, flesh. Essence of mamsa is meda, intelligence. Essence of meda is asti, asti to majja, majja to shukra. Shukra means semen. So, so much knowledge. <laughs> no not enough time, hours in a day to learn all these things. Right? So, what happens when you conserve semen, that becomes ojas. Ojas leads to increase of tejas. Spiritual essence of a person, which leads to acquisition of spiritual knowledge. So, this is the key. So, the less sex people have, the more spiritual they grow. It's not easy, you know. I am also a grihastha. I know how it's not easy, but we have to do it before we die. Brahmacharya, good physical health, good mental health, and good spiritual soul health. It's all there. Information is there. Whether we do it or not is our headache. Okay, let's do this verse. Asatyam apratishtam te. Asatyam apratishtam te. Jagadahura nishwaram. Jagadahura nishwaram. Jagadahura nishwaram. Aparaspara sambhutam. Aparaspara sambhutam. Iman yatkam kaitukam. I published some articles in my LinkedIn and I was thinking on relationship between sex and spirituality and that got the highest number of hits <laughs> because that's a very important thing for us, right? We think that sex is like the most important thing for us. So, and Krishna says, Kama Haitukam, Kama means desires, right? So say that this world is unreal with no foundation, no God in control. They say it's produced of sex desire and has no other cause other than lust. 
Who is saying this? Who is saying this? Lord Krishna. Krishna is saying this. So you may think that this sex thing is something private, right? You should not talk in public. Why is Lord Krishna talking about this in public? Because the demons conclude that this world is phantasmagoria. Means it's like an imagination. So we have to enjoy as much as we want and make the best of every minute. They also say there is no cause, no effect, no controller, no purpose. Everything is unreal, right? Augmented reality, virtual reality. They think that the world was created by God for, they do not think that the world was created by God for a particular purpose. So why is, why is the world created? Anybody know? To go back to Godhead, it is the best of... Uh... Yeah, very good. So finally, after four years of my teaching you, you said the essence of what is to be said. <laughs> to go back to Godhead. So they think the world is for what? Sense enjoyment. Sense enjoyment. That's why they do so many different inventions to have more and more sensual experiences. Whether you look at movies or sports or uh, inventions, virtual reality, artificial intelligence, everything is for sense enjoyment only. And they think that the world has come about its own way and there is no reason to believe that there is God behind it. They think there is no need for God. Everything is matter, they say. And whole cosmos is supposed to be a mass of ignorance. All manifestation of diversity is a display of ignorance. That is one of their thoughts. Right? So it's like the meditation is growing and growing and growing. Demons say that the life is a dream and they are very expert in enjoying this dream though. Very expert. They'll say, yes. So they say child is simply a result of sexual intercourse between man and women. So what is the real reason for a child? Anybody know? Because soul needs to undergo Purification. Therefore, it needs a body, body, body. And they say there is no question of existence of a soul. They do not believe in the words of Krishna and Bhagavad Gita. And most importantly, every one of us particular theory of his own, and then they start fighting with the others. That's what's happening in the world right now, right? Everybody has their one view, and they fight with each other. And somebody said interpretation. Remember earlier in our conversation, so demons think that one interpretation is same as the other interpretation. Everybody is entitled to their own interpretations. Because they do not believe the standard understanding. Scripture should be understood by Acharyas, understood through Acharyas. But if you think that there is no standard uh, understanding, then what will happen? Everything goes to dogs, like it's happening right now. America is in like a very dangerous situation right now, right? BLM on one side, QAnon and Antifa from the other side, uh, increasing debt, 
normally healthy debt to what is the healthy debt to um, gdp ratio anybody know what is gdp by the way gross domestic product yes what is debt how much you owed others yes so when gdp is uh, when debt is 35% of gdp it is a healthy situation right now what is debt to gdp ratio more than 100% <laughs> no it's not more luckily it's not more i'm just guess <laughs> <laughs> debt to gdp is about 100% about 100% what happens if it becomes 150% bankruptcy no your dollar value will go down right right, right? in in uh, some countries in chile south america chile and other countries ecuador people used to like give to buy one loaf of bread 10000 local currency units like 10000 rupees to buy one loaf of bread can you imagine that so right now we are in very very dangerous situation the america that i came to and the america that is there right now are two separate countries altogether the america that i came to was a very rich country with a lot of sensibility so just in 25 years america has changed transformed so and its kaliyuga is just barely beginning right only 5040 years kaliyuga so what will happen later anybody's guess Okay. Any questions before we close for the day? We covered a lot of ground. Huh? Controversial issues around position of women, position of demons, which is what? How many demons are there? Practically ninety-nine percent of the world is demons. <laughs> so I'm very passionate about this topic. So sorry if I spoke out of my yeah that's fine we all learn we live to learn so yeah let's get out of that you know demoniac society and move to a divi divine society it's possible in one lifetime we can become divine and go back to god that's what our focus should be not like what we did in the past Okay let's chant now